good morning to everyone now we are going to discuss about arduino in, in the subject internet of things for production system what is arduino arduino it is one of the type of open source electronic platform it is mainly based upon the type of hardware and also type of software which is used in the arduino board before going into the topic we must want to know what is the closed source software and also what is open source software for example if we take an microsoft office it is one of the type of closed source electronic platform that means in microsoft office the source code will not be available for everyone and also if we want to change anything or any program or any database in the microsoft office that code source code is only available to that of the available to only the creator we can't able to modify the code but in case of open source electronic platform like a linux or a arduino ide the source code is available to everyone anyone can able to view copy learn and modify the code next we are discuss about what is open source software and closed source hardware in the case of open source hardware the schematic will be available to everyone example arduino boards arduino boards is freely available in the market whereas in the case of closed source hardware the schematic and other details will not be available for example in case of mobile phones it mobile mother phone motherboard laptop motherboard it is not freely available in the market it is one of the example of open source hardware why we are using arduino board next what do arduino do from the environment it is used to read the data and also to the environment it is used to send the commands to the environment for example it is used to read the light intensity we can also read the temperature of the surroundings we can also able to read the wind flow for example wind flow and also for example we can collect the fingerprint on the help of different types of sensors these are all some of the examples from the with the help of arduino board we can able to read the data and also we can able to send the command to the environment for example for activating the motor turning on the tube light publishing something online these are all some of the examples we can do with the help of the arduino board next we are going to discuss about how arduino do all this each arduino board has an microcontroller by sending a set of instructions to the microcontroller on the arduino board we can do different types of amazing projects here it is an example why arduino board is called an open source electronic platform it has open source hardware and also it has an open source software in case of open source hardware the arduino board circuit board is readily available we can easily programmed and also referred to as the microcontroller of brain in case of software the ready made software is easily available on the internet that is arduino ide ide means integrated development environment in arduino ide we can able to write compile upload any type of data and also we can easily transfer computer code to physical board in case of arduino ide software so the arduino is determined as an open source electronic platform the arduino is an open source electronic platform based on easy to use hardware and software used to build the electronic projects all arduino boards have one thing in common which is the microcontroller a microcontroller is basically a really a small computer with the help of the arduino you can design and build devices that can interact with your surroundings the arduino boards are basically a tool for controlling electronics they are able to read inputs with their onboard microcontroller example light on a sensor an object near a sensor and turn it onto an output we can also drive a motor with the help of an arduino board ring an alarm turning on an led display information on an lcd these are all some of the applications of an arduino board with the help of an arduino makers and electricians can easily 
prototype their products and make their ideas come to life.